Well, dads certainly want to be there, love to be there when their children are born. But when you're in the military and your twin girls decide to arrive early, you don't always get the choice. Yeah, they don't get a say. But as we got to see firsthand today, when dad finally gets a chance to meet those newborns, there is nothing better. Good morning. Good morning. For Ken and Aaron Mick, it felt for a while like this day may never arrive. Get you some masks. Everybody feeling okay? Yes. Oh, yes. Good. Ken was in the Middle East when his girls were born. And after two weeks in quarantine in Wyoming, he's got plans. He's gonna go see some babies. Where's the babies? The babies, Ellen and Lorraine, are three and a half weeks old. They're so tiny. Hi, Ellen, how's it going? He's tidy and adorable. <laughs> And stretching. Oh. What's going on, sweetie? Having two small and cute girls make decision making tough. You want to hold one of them? Oh, uh, yeah. Who do you want to hold? Uh huh. Uh huh. Which one first? The simple answer both. We just have one snuggler and one sprawler, you know? Yeah, that's just kind of. That's just how we go. How they've been. That's how we do it. What you can't see is there's a big smile on his face, <laughs> but the mask is covering it. Nine pounds of adorableness. And while the girls may not fully appreciate dad and his jokes just yet. I mean, it's not two yet. We can't be awake. Mom is sure glad he's home. As soon as he got back into the country, it was like, okay, um, I can do this. Big old long journey and we're finally here and get a, you know, go on to the next part of life. But hopefully the next part of life won't include a deployment anytime soon. I joked with him, the next time you think you want to deploy, I'm going to remind you that the last time we had twins and there was a global pandemic. So. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Well, Helen, Helen, excuse me, Ellen and Lorraine, they still need to get a little bit bigger before they can leave the NICU at Rocky Mountain Hospital for Children. That's beautiful, but their parents hope all four can soon be home in Casper.